Welcome to Missouri Athletic Club Connections, a podcast highlighting Missouri's only premier athletic club. The MAC is recognized as the foremost private club in St. Louis, known for attracting exceptional people and enriching lives for generations. I'm MAC communication strategist Monica Ryan. With me today is my co-worker, Caitlin Demery Dyer. She is the MAC's content marketing manager. Thanks for being on the pod, Caitlin. My pleasure. Thank you course. So we've been celebrating the 120th anniversary of the club all year, but that also means we're celebrating the 120th anniversary of the Cherry Diamond. And that is our club's monthly magazine. So doesn't the magazine, it actually predates the club's opening? Yes, yes. So the first issue was the August 1903. Um, And so, so yeah, we've been kicking it for over 120 years. Yeah, and the August Cherry Diamond this year, it's um, our main feature story. So our feature story in the Cherry Diamond is about the Cherry Diamond. <laughs> and Caitlin, you did the feature story this year. Um, so what's just some of what you found out? Um, one of the things that really stood out to me was that over the course of 120 years, despite technology changing, Despite the physical dimensions of the publication changing, the name itself changing, um, it's really stayed true to the mission of the MAC, and um, you know it's it's really continued to be a, a chronicle of the triumphs and the evolution and the journey of the MAC and its members. And uh, is there anything like else that you found out, like? Uh, introducing like some influential people or anything like that? Yeah. So, um, you know, in my time researching the the history of the Cherry Diamond, the history of the MAC um, for the 120 uh, anniversary, um, I've really come to know some really influential people, been introduced to um, some of the uh, the legends in shaping the Cherry Diamond magazine itself. And so it's been really wonderful learning their stories and hearing about um, the positive impact the MAC has had on their lives as well as their families. Yeah, and one of the people that you spoke with when writing this new feature story was Mr. Chris Pickle, Mm -hmm. a Cherry Diamond alum, and he actually came into the studio. Yes, yeah, so his father was um, Irv Pickle, Mr. Irv Pickle, who really was a driving force in the, uh, the development of the Cherry Diamond during most of its real transformative years. Um, you'll hear more about his story, um, in our conversation and, uh, and also learn how the Cherry Diamond became a real family affair for him. Um, so it was a pleasure getting to speak with him, getting to meet him and, uh, and learn about his experience here. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear it. Here is Caitlin's conversation with Mr. Pickle. Hi, Chris. Thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Um, Happy I to look be back. forward to learning more about your role with the Cherry Diamond okay. and the history of the Cherry Diamond with regard to the MAC 120 this year. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you came into your role here at the Cherry Diamond? Sure. Uh, so I graduated from uh, St. Louis University in 1984. <laughs> I hate to admit that. but um, So I was out on the interview circuit trying to find a job. You know, I, I had some opportunities, but I was aware of, you know, the MAC and the opportunities come about through that because of my dad's, you know, history with the MAC and uh, some of the opportunities that, that people who worked for him went on to. So I knew there was good opportunity for growth and exposure here. So that's what kind of attracted me to the MAC. Nice. And so I, I recently spoke with uh, Mr. Barry Weinberg, and I know he had a role here as well, um, is a, a 50 plus year member Mm -hmm. um and he worked directly with your your father mr irv pickle um he he kind of called him mr mac in my conversations with him um what can you tell me about um irv's time here at the club and and how he perhaps influenced your work uh he loved the mac he loved everything about it uh he was here for i think 28 years um and just, you know, he, he loved all the events and the people he got to meet. Um, uh, he met my mother um, working at the MAC. He was, of course, working at the Cherry Diamond selling advertising. And he would call this woman who was in charge of advertising at a local bank downtown. And he fell in love with her voice oh, and didn't meet her for a while. But then um, they met and, you know, went on to marry, had a long marriage, had seven kids. And I'm, I'm the seventh one. So wow. I'm glad they got together. Yeah. 
um, and it, you know, not not to uh, take this in a, in a uh, you know a negative way, but there's loyalty uh, between my dad and the MAC, as there was in that day and age between employers and their employees. Um, my mother had had a, a, a pretty serious accident at one point, and my you know they had two young children at the time. And I know my dad had other opportunities to, to move on, but he said the MAC was so good to him during that period mm. that he just felt uh, too loyal to them to, to move on. So he stayed here and he loved everything about it. Um, one of the things he really loved was, you know, they started taking trips. You've probably seen some of those. Yep. Um, they traveled the world and he, you know, they went all over Europe and Asia and cruises and he, he loved every aspect of that and he would take my mom on some of those trips too and they just had great times and they're all documented in the cherry diamond with pictures and stories um that was one of the his his key things um actually that led to his kind of career after retiring from the mac he got into the travel industry business and and had kind of a second life which was which was great. great um he was very proud of the uh the recognition and the awards that the Cherry Diamond got during his tenure. Um, he was very involved with the advertising club, and, and uh, they won a number of industry awards. So he was he was really pleased with that. We had kind of a, a family history um, with the, the, the Cherry Diamond. During the summers, he would hire my sisters to come down, and they would proofread uh, all of the uh, roster information that came out every September, you know, line by line, they'd have to go through it. And, um, and he, he put them to work, oh and he put my brothers to work in the, in the print shop. There used to be a print shop here. Mm-hmm. You're aware of that. Um, they would be down there running the presses. So, you know, in some fashion, many of the pickles had a, had a tie to the MAC. And, and currently, um, your nephew is an employee here in our uh, AV department. That is correct. Yeah, yeah. Brian Doherty. Yeah, he, he loves working here and yeah. working he's all the different He's a great team things. member. Yeah, he's yeah. great. Um, so what are what are some of your favorite memories? Are there is there any particular um, moments that you reflect on fondly um, during your time working at the Cherry Diamond? Uh, sure. Um, if I can go back to other memories, you sure. know, to when my dad was working yeah. here. Uh, I remember as a kid, we would come down here um, during the holiday season every year. You know, my mom would get us all dressed up. She'd bring us down here. We'd have dinner at the MAC, and we'd get to see the MAC in all its glory with holiday decorations. Uh, and then we'd go over to Famous Bar and see Santa Claus and look at all the windows downtown and, you know, maybe do a little shopping. Um, so that was a that, – that continues to be a great memory. I participated in the, um, you know, the Saturday morning youth programs, uh, playing – you know, swimming and basketball and some indoor soccer. And, of course, it was always capped off by lunch on the fourth floor, <laughs> which incredible hamburgers and French fries That was and, and milkshakes. I can't forget the milkshakes. Wow. Um, as far as myself, um, I met a lot of great people here uh, and a lot of my idols, you know, through the sports awards and stuff. I, I met people like uh, Ozzie Smith and Willie McGee and, and Jack Buck and Jackie Joyner Kersey. Uh, and that was, I, I hold those memories dear. In the, um, in the spring of uh, 86, actually, I guess in the, in the late winter of 86, I contacted the Cardinals and I got press passes to go down to, uh, they were in St. Petersburg at the time for spring training. Oh, nice. And I uh, spent the, you know, a week on the field, on the bench. It was a lot looser back then, um, meeting people like, again, uh, Ozzie Smith and Jack Clark and Yogi Berra. He was coaching wow. for the Houston Astros at the time, so I, I got to meet him, Bob Costas. Um, we started, you know, while I was here, we started the, um, at the time it was the MAC, uh, soccer player of the year award, oh, okay. which of course later yeah. became the Herman trophy. Yes. So that was the beginning. I think that started in 1985 or wow. six. I'd have to think about that. Um, uh, I also finally remember, uh, playing on the MAC softball team. I don't know if you've heard the names, Tim Kelly, who was in the athletic department and Dave Miller, mm-hmm. who was in charge of our, our human resources, we got a softball team together and played in Forest Park and, you know, had a great team. Oh, and it was fun. just a lot of fun. So just a lot of great memories with yeah. the MAC. Yeah. Um, then in terms of the Cherry Diamond, the magazine itself, um, is there anything that you would say sets apart it as a publication from uh, other industry publications? I think it's, it's always had just a it's got a long history of commitment and i think it's a a publication that members are are proud to receive look forward to receiving i think they're proud to display it on their on their coffee tables or in their offices 
Um, so I, I think that's been consistent, and you know, certainly it started before my dad. He continued it uh, during his time. You know, Jim Wilson now has been here for I think he said 26 mm-hmm. years, and it's, yeah. it's maintained that 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 quality, and I think that really differentiates it from others. And uh, when you consider the magazine and its evolution, um, what changes stand out to you? Um, well, like just about everything else in the world, it's technology. Um, I, I, I think back to the way we used to put the magazine together, and it was, you know, it was on typeset equipment, and it, it would print out these pages. Um, you know, you'd proofread them. We actually had to physically make storyboards where you'd then take these pages and glue them down to these boards, um, and, and everything had to be laid out perfectly. Those boards had to be sent to the printer in order. You couldn't, you know, move anything, and you know, God forbid you had a typo or something somewhere, then you had to strike out one line of type and, and overlay it with a, a different line of type. Um, I'm sure everything now is just digitized where it's done on screen. You ship me, you know, mm-hmm. send it off to the printer and, yeah. and boom, you're done. Electronic proofs and Abs- everything. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's That's, fast. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, things like this, a podcast. I mean, yeah. when I was working here, we didn't even know what the Internet was. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the evolution of probably a lot of different technologies oh, yeah. during your time. Yeah, and I think back to... You know, the, 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 it gets back to the people. Um, you know, my dad worked with, and unfortunately I got to work too, with some wonderful people like Al Schweitzer. Mm, yes. Um, you know, he just died a year ago. He was actually earlier this year, I guess. He was 101 years old. Wow. I went to his 100th birthday, 100th birthday party out at MAC West, and it was just a great collection of, you know, people and family, and just great to see him. Um, uh you know, I mentioned Tim Kelly and and uh, and Dave Miller. Ron Barlow for many years was the the photographer. Uh, yeah. He wasn't an employee of the MAC, but and actually neither was Al. They were both kind of contract employees. But Ron would be at the events taking all the pictures. And you talk about technology. You know, the film would get developed. We'd have to get proof sheets mm-hmm. back of the pictures and look them through the loop and try to figure out what are the best pictures. And then order the the actual prints. And that's what we had to work with. And um, it was just, it was fun time. Um, a lot of other great people. Lucille Kurtzborn was my dad's longtime uh, secretary. Uh, and she was just great. She and her husband were, were wonderful characters. Uh, you know, Tom McGuffey, um, just, just so many people. Um, one of the people I worked with, actually, I don't know if you knew this, was uh, uh, while we were working, she was uh, working sometimes at night at uh, comedy clubs doing stand up comedy. Oh, how fun! And I don't know if you know the name Kathleen Madigan. Yes. Yeah. So she worked on the Cherry Diamond. And no we, kidding. We yeah. I used, to, I used to tell her. I said, please don't tell me your your skit is about this weird guy you work with. <laughs> <laughs> she, she promised me. <laughs> she promised me that wasn't the case. But, so she had her beginnings here at the MAC. No kidding. That's yeah. great. Um, I guess to wrap this up, is there anything else that you might like to let members know about the Cherry Diamond? Um, just to reiterate the the importance it had. Not just for my dad, but for our family, and uh, you know the, the the memories it created, the opportunities it created for, you know, not just for me, but again, my my sisters and you know working their way through school and mm-hmm. summer jobs and my brothers summer employment, uh, and it was just something that brought great joy to my dad, and uh, you know I have nothing but but fond memories and recollections. My entire family has nothing but fond memories and recollections about the MAC and the Cherry Diamond. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us again. Absolutely. And, Thanks uh, for the opportunity to, to reminisce to, a little bit. Yeah, looking forward to carrying on the tradition and uh, and continuing to celebrate the Cherry Diamond and the MAC's 120th anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Caitlin, thanks so much for that bit of history for us from Mr. Chris Pickle. It really is a family affair for him, that's for sure. Anything that he said that surprised you? Uh, I really loved hearing that his mom and dad met here. Um, They met through the MAC, got married, had seven children. I mean, I think that's really touching and and special. Um, And a story that, you know, we hear often, so many people meeting, making those important um, influential connections. Um, oh, and Kathleen Madigan. <laughs> I thought that was really funny um, that she was an employee here. I did not know that. So yeah, yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> She's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the official anniversary of the club is quickly approaching. It's on September 13th. What do we have planned for this historic milestone? Yes. Yeah, so we're kicking off Spirit Week um, September 11th, the week of September 11th. 
Um, we have some fun things planned. Details are currently being worked out. Um, there's mention of caramel rolls mm-hmm. making a comeback. Yes, I know. I heard huge. that's a member favorite. Yes, yes. Um, so as things kind of get firmed up, we'll be sure to communicate all of what's happening um, during Spirit Week through social media. Awesome. Anything else happening as we head into the official anniversary? Yeah, I know we have a series of special podcasts, um, uh, different guests talking about, you know, their stories over the past 120th year or years. Um, and uh, we'll also kind of weave in some um, really unique special moments um, through our Throwback Thursdays on social media and blogs. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Caitlin. Members, you heard it here. Come enjoy a caramel roll and be sure to stay connected through the events calendar, email blasts, MAC website, and social media. And we'll see you soon. Thanks.